So just wanted to make a quick MLB news video for you guys talking about the New York Mets, Yoshinobu Yamamoto, and Shota Imanaga, this 2023-24 MLB free agency. So here on the screen is a tweet from Shea Hello on Twitter, which says, according to Joel Sherman, the New York Mets are not messing around, quote, and are going full board to land Japanese stars Yoshinobu Yamamoto and Shota Imanaga, among others. So the Mets could definitely be looking to make some pretty big time moves to the rotation this offseason. Uh, just yesterday, they made some minor moves for the most part, um, acquiring Joey Wendell as a utility player for them in free agency, as well as them signing a uh, former Yankees pitcher, Luis Severino, to a one-year contract for $13 million. So uh, the Mets have made some splashes so far, but not sort of the significance of splashes that we thought they might have been in on uh, heading into this offseason. But, you know, with a lot of the top players still remaining on the open market, there is still plenty of time for the Mets, for that matter, to make a big-time splash or two. And if they want to go into the international market, there's two pretty good options available, especially at the starting pitching position. Position. Yoshinobu Yamamoto, of course, is a very coveted player. All signs point towards him being uh, probably the second most coveted player behind Otani, and teams are really, um, you know, bidding against each other quite a bit to land his services. So, I saw a report today that Yamamoto could be costing, you know. Eight years at $250 million. So that's over $30 million per year for Yamamoto, who's just 25 years old. Uh, he has won his third straight MVP with the Oryx Buffaloes. And this guy is a superstar, right? Uh, this guy would be an awesome addition for this Mets team. Uh, he'd be the ace of this franchise, not only for the short term, but for the foreseeable future as well. Uh, and if you're able to have Yamamoto uh, play alongside Kodai Senga uh, and, you know, recently acquired Luis Severino, that's all of a sudden a pretty uh, decent looking starting half of your rotation next year, in my personal opinion. So Yamamoto would be a step in the right direction for them absolutely a 17 and 6 record last year for him a 1.16 era this guy is a stud now a fellow japanese player shota imanaga is also a pretty solid player i believe he's a lefty pitcher as well a little bit older than a yamamoto at 30 years old so sort of like Sanga last year uh sort of getting a player at, at sort of the midpoint of his career um you know last year i think he played for yokihama if I'm not mistaken, and actually put himself in a pretty good spot as well. A seven win, five loss season, an ERA of 2.66. He also did have, um, I believe, a whip of 1.019, so a very solid season as well. But if the Yankees, or sorry, if the Mets for that matter, are able to land uh, both of these Japanese players, Yamamoto and Imanaga, that'd be a step in the right direction. If they're able to have three Japanese pitchers at a high level on their roster, that would be unbelievable. That'd be awesome. I would love to see that for this Mets team, which personally, in my, in, my, in my opinion, they need to add to their rotation quite a bit because as of right now, it's a little bit thin. I guess adding Severino could have some upside to it, but as of right now, they could definitely use both of these players, no questions asked. So keep an eye on the Mets, uh, Steve Cohen, and... Um, you know, the rest of this group possibly making a big time splash in the international free agency market by going after Yoshinobu Yamamoto and Shota Imanaga. Is it going to happen? If you're a Mets fan, leave all your thoughts down below and I'll see you in the next one.